uh, Fionn Thomas. Uh, my job title is a system engineer and I work at Wilver Power Station um, in Anglesey. A system engineer is somebody that looks after this, what's called the safety case of the system. So myself, I look after the CO2 plant, I look after the active effluent treatment plant, the boron dust plant and the radioactive incinerator. So generally I look after the well-being and the safety of the system. I did a degree in chemistry um, and that's how I came into the job. However, many of the people that I work with, they did apprenticeships, left school at 16, did their apprenticeships um, and have kind of worked themselves up the company. There's other people that have come in with HMDs. Um, so I think the minimum requirement is a HMD to do the actual role that I'm doing. But you can work at Wilbur with any kind of qualifications. I think the main thing is drive and ambition. I think you have to be um, an open-minded kind of person, but also very kind of, uh, you've got to put a massive emphasis on safety. Also, you've got to be quite patient because of all the safety culture that we do have here. There's a lot of um, routine stuff that has to be done in order to get work done. Um, so sometimes things, will not go as planned, so you've got to have a plan B, for example. I started working here about three years ago. Um, I came in from another engineering firm. I wasn't a tomboy when I was, I was quite a girly girl, so kind of ending up in the industry that I have is a bit of a surprise. Um, saying that though, I absolutely love working and doing what I do. You don't have to set what you want to do um, when you're 18 and kind of stick to that. I've kind of converted from a chemistry degree into the engineering field, which is still scientific, but it's still kind of diverse from my original plan, really. A typical day, I come in for about 20 past eight. I look to see what the events of the previous nights, because obviously Wilver, it doesn't stop at five o'clock. If there's anything significant that's happened on the areas that I'm responsible for, and to try and sort those out. We then got a morning meeting where we, as a team, kind of go through everything, make sure that what we're gonna do for, the, for that day is, um, is, it might be beneficial to somebody else. After that meeting, um, you know, I come down, do a general walk around, this is done on a weekly basis, just to see what kind of condition there is on my, on my plant. It's, as I said before, you know, getting some things done is quite difficult because of all the safety aspects. Um, so it's getting something completed and it working successfully and you having a big part in actually implementing that. I think that's the biggest satisfaction. Um, I, you know, I think um, women do come into this industry. There's another girl that I work with. Um, I think. You know, working with men, it's a lot of fun. I, I think you do have to prove yourself as, as a girl. Um, it's taken me a few months to kind of prove myself and hopefully I have kind of reached that. Um, but they are, they're very respectful um, and, you know, there is a lot of fun to have working in this kind of industry as a girl. I'd say go for it. Engineering is a vast field. You don't have to come into the nuclear industry. There's so many different fields, just civil, instruments, mechanical, chemical, and every kind of industry requires some kind of engineering input. Um, so definitely a good way to go.